Hey everybody, so today's gonna be a pretty big day. We're gonna be dynoing the race car after it's rebuild. I'm curious to see what numbers it's creating now that uh, I've gone through the entire engine. Uh, it did 331 horsepower and then like 274 uh, pound-feet of torque. So I'm hoping to see a little bit more than that. Um, if I could see like 345 horsepower, so an extra like 15 uh, horsepower, I'd be really happy with it. So before we take the car over there, I'm gonna go through and check all the fluids and then we're gonna get the car warmed up and then go take it over to the dyno. So I'm gonna let the car heat up for a couple minutes. I'm gonna move the pickup. Um, the dyno's about 15 minutes away and then we'll be uh, turning all the cameras back on. So post rebuild dyno numbers are in and I still didn't hit my goal of 350 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque, but I did see an increase. So we got three horsepower increase, which is within the margin of error. That's the same number, 331 and 334. You wouldn't notice anything like that that's so small uh, that it's basically the same. But I actually did hit my goal when it comes to torque. I did 315 pound-feet of torque, which is over 40 pound-feet of torque more than I downloaded before. Now, was all this thanks to that rebuild? That's the only thing that's changed on the car since I downloaded it last time, so that's the only thing I can really point to. But overall, I am very happy. 334 horsepower is like 15 horsepower less than what I wanted, and 315 is 15 over what I wanted on torque. Basically evens itself out. I essentially hit what I wanted to. Even if I got another 15 or 20 horsepower, you wouldn't have really actually felt that because it's less than 10%, but I am definitely feeling this extra pound feet of torque. So stick around because the next couple videos on this E46 are actually really awesome. I'm very excited to get these projects done and get them recorded. And I'm super excited to get them out to everybody so that you guys can see what's going on with this car in the next couple weeks. Until then, I appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.